This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Lafayette, Colorado. We're at Colored Paint. Since 1999, this artist has been providing decorative paint and plaster for your home and showrooms, show homes throughout Colorado and the Front Range. Pamela, let's start off first of all. As an artist, what is it that got you involved in this industry, and where did this passion for art come about? It actually came rather unexpectedly, but I met someone and they showed me how to do the type of painting. She said, I can show you how they paint in restaurants. And she showed it to me and all of a sudden it was like a lightning bolt went off. And I had no idea, but I was off on a new career. Obviously, as we all know, a coat of paint can do wonders for a room, but really you're taking it a level beyond that. You're quite honestly uh, transforming a room mm -hmm. to uh, represent and reflect a client based on a lot of a uh, little bit of research and finding out what they want. Well, I'm adding atmosphere and really honing in on what, what the feeling tone is. So I'm adding a lot of character to the room and there's a lot more that can be done other than just working with a simple straight coat of paint and so I get to interpret what it is that they want. It's really a lot of fun. Anymore um, in a society fast-paced go-go are, are consumers really starting to um, treasure and value the time in their home? They want to be um, inspired by the walls around them? Actually they have for a while and the big change was at 9-11. Everybody wanted to feel safe and they wanted their home to feel like a cocoon. They wanted it to feel exactly like the place that they wanted to come home to. And so that's when um, decorative painting, faux painting, exploded. And people wanted everything to feel kind of dark and cavey and safe. They wanted it to feel older, like European and that sort of thing, so it had this feeling of stability. Speaking of older, how does the decor of today compare to that of yesterday? I mean, is it really evolving and do you really have to keep yourself educated? It has really, it's really evolving and I think that's what's kept me doing this for so long is that it's just a constant exploration and a lot of times people think of faux painting as, you know, something that was the older style and because design has changed so radically in the last several years, people are going with brighter colors, a much cleaner look. There's so many things that can be done with paint that are not the old and dingy and drab. In fact, a lot of paint was kind of dirty. That they was there was a decorative style called more of a dirty look. And in Colorado, we love the earth, so a lot of earth tones. But things are getting cleaner, clearer. It's a clearer, crisper color. It's really fun. You can refresh any space in anyone's home, but quite honestly, the folks that live in those spaces does it kind of re-energize them as well once yes. they get something done? The sense of joy that I get from my work is profound. You know, a lot of times I'll be talking with a client and sometimes they, they don't even know exactly know what it is they want, but we start to talk and what very often happens, I have to laugh about it because very often I just get um, like chills that kind of run through my body and then I always just say, the paint gods have spoken. <laughs> Yeah. One, one of the things, before we get into the combination of paint and plaster, what you're able to do, let's speak a little bit about paint. Let's talk about color. How important is it to get that color just right before you go and take to a wall? Is that basically what you're able to provide for a client? Yes. Um, I will try different variations on a color. Each situation is so different depending upon the lighting. One of the new newer things that's happened in the last couple of years is shimmer, having things be metallic. So that adds another element. But, you know, I'm always doing sample boards. I'm interpreting what I think it is that they want. I will bring two to three to four where there'll be a subtle variation in color or technique to get it just exactly right. Obviously myself and I imagine folks that are viewing, many of us out there design challenged, color challenged. Mm -hmm. You're a color specialist. Is really that where uh, a professional can come in and kind of uh, capture what's in my mind's eye and really help me relate what I was hoping to go for? Yes. Wow. It's just that simple. <laughs> Once you bring me the boards, many times are people surprised that you actually, wow, that is really what I wanted. That happens all the time. And a lot of times people say to me, I don't even know how you knew what it is that I wanted. But that's exactly what I wanted. A lot of times people are frightened by color. And so they tend to go a little safer, but when they work with someone like me that can say, well, let's just give That's this cool. a try, and then they see it, and then they, I'll even have them put the sample board and tape it up on the wall for a while and kind of live with it, and if they go safer, 
you know, they're, it's sure. safer, but if it's just that little bit extra, they just, that's when they love it. That is really neat because obviously color emits a certain energy into mm -hmm. a room. And like you say, you can go with a serene feel. Um, you can basically go a little more dynamic. Is it important for you to know who's living in that room? room, what activities are taking place, does that help you to decide as well? Some. I mean, oftentimes I'm asking people, give me three words for how you want this to feel. So that, that tells me a lot right there. You know, someone that says they want something to feel serene and calming is very different than dramatic and impactful. One of the things that you're known for is the fact that you're able to use fresh, unusual paint techniques. Mm -hmm. Share with me some of those techniques that basically uh, we as the amateur probably would be very afraid to even go at. Glazing is what mo a lot of times people think of, and that used to be real hodgepodgey and messy yeah. and that sort of thing. Now it's much more monochromatic, more subtle, but still adds a little bit of atmosphere. But probably, I think the most exciting thing, and the thing that I'm doing quite a bit of is I'm working with four oils um, to add a little bit of extra shine or especially lots and lots of different types of plasters. People are more willing to experiment with plasters and that's a totally different look than a glaze. That's probably what I'm doing most of is plastering, different types of plaster. You had mentioned metallic plastering. That's something that uh, you're well known for or even polished plastering. Mm -hmm. um, share with me kind of the differences there of what the look is. Well it can either be smooth, it can be gritty, um, that's essentially it. And sometimes the plasters go on and you're adding a lot of texture. Sometimes it's just very, very quiet and building up layers. The amount of different looks that we can get, it's just phenomenal. It's really, it is so much fun too. I mean, people, people can really get something absolutely gorgeous. And so if you're talking about a bigger room, do you many times um, combine a lot of these techniques that actually complement each other? Mm -hmm. Everything needs to flow things need to work. Is if there's a room that, that is, seems really different or really disparate than another is to do something to kind of bridge the two. Um, very often people are just handing me fabrics and then I just come back with something. I really want people to fall in love with their homes over again, all over again. That's how I want them to feel. Folks, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is her website. On the website, you'll get a clear idea of how to schedule her up. Quite honestly, she has different seasons that are more busier than others. You'll get a clear idea of basically what the process is. We're talking about a consultation. I can sit down with you, decide uh, what type of budget you're within. Also decide, like she said, um, what's going on in that room and what you're really hoping to achieve there as well. You're also going to see there are a lot of the samples on the website of some of her work. We've been showing you a lot of them on the screen there, and it's really going to get your creative juices flowing and decide if something you may want to do out there. I know for myself, I would love for you to come in my home, make my walls basically art. What about existing art that I have already? I want those walls to complement that as well. I know that's what you're known for. Share with me what you do there. I take a look at it and a lot of times we don't want to compete with it. It's just how to show it off to its best advantage. Um, because sometimes a beautiful piece of art, it, it can be enhanced, we don't compete with it. Interesting. I mean, it's amazing. People go out and they invest quite a bit of money on an art piece only to sometimes get it home and it just doesn't look as cool as it did where they bought it. Right. Um, I, I imagine presentation is a, is a big part of it as well as lighting. That's right. I'm looking at some pieces here, mm -hmm. uh, showboards. Is this what takes place after the consultation? Yes. So I get a feeling from people, we're talking over, part of it is not only the look, but really frankly, what is the budget? What is the, sure. the parameters of the financial? Because I can be going in and it's basically like saying, um, what kind of car would you like? You know, I don't want to start talking about, you know, a Porsche if that's not in the plan. Right. So then once I once I have some sort of a parameter about that, then I figure out what is the most bang for the buck that I can give people. How can we get that best look? And Because there are a lot of different ways to approach it. Your work has been, quite honestly, shown all along the front range, uh, all the way down too. into Vail Valley. <laughs> Basically, uh, multiple rooms within the parade of homes. Mm -hmm. um, is the passion still alive with you like it was over 14 years ago? It is, and especially now with the changes that are coming in, with the way design has changed. But design changes just because people are ready for something new and I was ready for something new too and it's just it has just been a blast.
Last time, folks, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. You're going to see the website. You're also going to see her contact information. And once again, like she says, have an idea about possibly budget what you're looking at. Um, she gives some ideas there on the site as well to give you an idea of what a certain type of room may cost or a certain size. But keep in mind, this is a very customized approach that she really can only give you a, a firm bid after she has sat down with you and decided what it is you want to do. And keep in mind, we've spoke a lot about residential here, but she's also available for commercial work as well. Um, her work is in a lot of restaurants throughout the area also. That is the colored paint with Pam. Fall in love with your home all over again. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.